Understanding the traffic source of your website visitors is one of the most, if not the number one feature of Google Analytics. So when this data is missing from the puzzle, it's pretty frustrating, right? Let's dive into Google Analytics and see what we can do about it. So here we are in the traffic acquisition of GA4. And as you see for the DDU website, uh, direct none makes up about 10% of all the sessions. Now, if we want to analyze this further, we need to apply a filter or we can customize the report even just temporarily. So we're going to add the filter here and say, let's include only source medium equal to direct none to start with. Okay, now we have a little bit of a better idea, but we want to change this dimension to represent landing pages so we know where this traffic actually is coming to. Then we want to make it the default dimension. And as you can see now, it's a clearer picture. So we can say, okay, the most of it is coming to the home page, but there are other pages that actually receive the direct none traffic. Now we can add secondary dimensions. For example, we can add city, which can give you a clearer picture if this is some sort of spam traffic. For example, Ashburn, is a place where servers, I believe of Amazon or some other cloud service are placed so that can pollute the data as well. Now, if we change this to, let's say country, you could probably see that not all of our uh, direct none visits are being tracked here. So we, we don't see the uh, whole 4,000 that we saw in the initial report. We just see around 1,500. We have United States, then we have Philippines, and then we can analyze further and see, okay, only five engaged sessions out of 228, which is, I would say like 2%, even though our regular engagement rate is around 20%. So this matches our regular engagement rate, but this one doesn't. This one does not either. So it's probably some kind of span traffic. This one also, so it's 3.4%, which means that it's probably something that is uh, not not realistic traffic, but rather a spam traffic. Or if we see here that this not set landing page actually is uh, taking six conversions, it's probably because this happened as one of the scenarios which uh, generates your direct non-traffic, which is that user's browser has some kind of aggressive ad blocker that destroys cookies and doesn't allow their browser to send back data about the uh, traffic referral. Other reasons for your traffic being direct could be that traffic came via URL shortener like Bitly or traffic came from a link in a non online resource like a PDF or some kind of a download and then this link wasn't UTM tagged, which we're going to come to in just a second here. Visits could have came via links from email, which is also not a browser based application. And then it cannot pass over the referral parameter, which is how Google Analytics can understand where did the traffic come from. Another use case is when a link to your website is bookmarked on user's browser. So whenever they click on a bookmark, it's the equivalent of a user typing the actual URL into the URL bar, like I'm going to do just now. So here you can see if I start typing traffic and then I click here, this visit actually counts as, as a direct none because there was no page that referred this visit. I came to it directly, which is obviously why it's called direct. So let's recap again the reasons why your traffic could be bucketed into direct none. It's if a user type a URL, then if they click on a link in email that has not been UTM tagged, and I'm going to show you just now how should you deal with this. So there is this tool that's called Campaign URL Builder, and I pre-filled it here. So we have a website URL, datadrivenu.com, 
and campaign sources, for example, newsletter and an email. Campaign name can be whatever you want, but the link would look like this. So I copy this link, and if I pasted it into an email and a user clicks that link, the actual source and medium parameter would be passed on to the browser and the browser would understand that this source of this visit was newsletter and medium for it was email. Now, UTM Builder or Campaign URL Builder can be used across many different tools. It's good for tagging the campaigns that are not Google-based or for Facebook advertising for Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest or wherever you're driving paid traffic from. It's a good practice to use the UTM Builder, but we're going to create another video for it. Now, let's get back to the reasons that provoke your direct non-visits. I mentioned bookmarked pages. So if you had a bookmark like I have here, for example, for periodic table of Google Analytics, this visit is also a direct non one. If I downloaded a PDF and then clicked on a link that take me to a website, it would also be counted as a direct visit. And then if I used a shortener like Bitly or last but not the least, if a user has an aggressive ad blocker that destroys cookies, that would also be counted as a direct none visit. I hope now that you understand better what direct none means in your reports in the source medium column, that you are going to be able to unlock that data and kind of understand better what's hiding behind that pretty unpleasant um, source medium bucket and if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you and see you soon